everybody, it is time to film my plan with me for the first full week in December. So that is the 4th to the 10th and very exciting. It is the start of Christmas kits. Now this is not explicitly a Christmas kit. It's called Winter Bird and it's from the Hummingbird Planner. And yeah, it's not like, oh, it's, you know, obviously Christmas trees and things like that. Um, however, it is very much like my personal um, Christmas aesthetic. I really, really love um, pretty, just the colors and the patterns, the papers. I, ugh, I just, I'm so in love with this cat. Um, it's Cause it's wintry, but to me it's very specifically Christmas wintry um, with like the music and the holly uh, pine, cone, pine cones and evergreen, you know, you don't have the trees, but you have like the ever um, evergreen, like the pine sort of branches and things like that. I think it's pretty, pretty uh, a Christmas leaning winter kit. Um, so that's why I'm using it the first week to ease into the Christmas season. But anyways, here's the beautiful full box sheet with your patterned quarter boxes there. You've got your checklist and your solid quarter boxes, headers and little things, your washi sheets, your half box sheet with your sidebar stickers, bill dues, checklist, weekend banner, and small flags. And then your functional sheet with all of the things here you can see. Now, this is my first time using the new format Hummingbird Planner. I'm so excited. I have so many in the new format, um, mini kits and deluxe kits, but I've kind of been hoarding them and saving them because I love them so, so much that I'm like, I want to use these in the perfect week. They're so gorgeous and beautiful. So I'm finally, finally, finally using one and I cannot wait, but it might take me a little bit um, to get used to where everything is, you know, when you're not as familiar with the new format. So just, yeah, beware of that, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm going to start off by laying down the basics. So I'm going to put the mini flags to cover the black strip here. And then I'm going to put my date covers right across the top. These are rounded date covers. So I have pulled in um, some glitter headers to frame them. So I've got um, just two sets of gold glitter headers that I thought would look nice. They're slightly different glitters and slightly different tones, but I think I'll get away with it. Um, these are left over from a Harriet Wright Designs kit, and these are left over from a GP Sticker Studios kit. Sorry, apparently big truck is going by. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put, I guess it doesn't really matter which is which, um, but I'm just gonna put one set all the way across the top one set a little bit farther down, and then um, the date covers in the middle of the two. And I pulled in some date dots. These are left over from a GP Sticker Studios kits because they have the correct uh, dates there. So I'm just gonna use these instead of writing them in myself just because my handwriting is really bad. And I like to use these if I have them left over. Uh, then I am going to white out um, the bits down here that needs to be whited out. And then I will put down my bottom washi. And while I'm down there, I'm just gonna put my Christmas countdowns from Morello Papery on the bottom washi. So sorry that was a lot to take in, but um, I just wanted to explain what I was doing before I did the sped up. So yes, now I will be right back. Okay, so there's the basics. I also forgot to mention, but I did put the today headers down because y'all know I am one for forgetting to put today headers down. So I went ahead and did that as well. But yeah, we've got all the basics. I think we can start with some little things. Um, so I'm having, I just did wanna know, a little bit of trouble with this paper because it is thinner of um, with pulling it up. So I would just note to be really careful um, because the top bit can like come off of the sticky part a bit. Um, so yeah, just be um, really, really careful peeling up this paper is just my only note. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start with a meal on every day. 
awesome. And then on Monday, it's just the meal. I don't have anything else. So I'm gonna put my little things header. And on Tuesday, I have a bill due. Um, I have my phone bill. And let's see, where are the bill dues? Here we go. So I've got these options. I think I'll do the blue because the little things header is this color. Um, but they're rounded, so I'm gonna take some washi. And the washi matches the full boxes. So do I know what box I wanna use that day? Or I'm gonna use this in the sidebar, so I'll use the matching washi for the sidebar one since I won't need it on a certain day. And I think I'll just take the smaller two pieces if I can get them. And I'll just do like that. And like that. There we go. Very nice. And that is it for Tuesday. On Wednesday, I've got a TV show. So do one of my one of my TVs. And that's it. Everything else is gonna go on the to-do list. Not that many little things this week it's looking like. We'll see as we as we go to the second half. Um Thursday, I've got two TV shows. Now we're talking. We've got Vikings and Designated Survivor. And that's it for two oh, Thursday, I mean. Friday. Got nothing on Friday, alrighty. Saturday, we've got two TV shows. Okay, yeah, because one of them is The Crown, which is, it's a Netflix show, so it comes out all at once, and it actually comes out on the Friday, but it's a show that me and my partner watch together, so I won't be able to watch it or he won't be able to watch it on Friday, so we'll start it together on Saturday. Um, so The Crown, and I've got Once Upon a Time, and also a video. I think I'm gonna use a heart for my videos, just cause you got, we've got a whole set of hearts. So that's just my usual Saturday video, and then that's it for Saturday. And Sunday, we've got Another TV show for Blue Planet. Oh, I think this is of the last Blue Planet, which is a bummer. I really am enjoying that. Um, and then I want to do my receipts. So for that, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip one around. I just picked this kind of um, weight one because I don't really use those. I've also got a video, so I'm gonna do another heart for the video. Oh, they're next to each other. That's cool. And for receipts, I'm gonna take this um, credit card icon and it matches as well, so that's nice. And then the only other thing for Sunday is that I like to do a face mask. So for that, I've pulled out, there's not really anything in the icon, so for that, I pulled out my GP Sticker Studios face mask stickers and I'm gonna put that with some washi. So how much are we gonna need here? I think I'll just take some of this washi here. These two pieces should be enough. And which one do I wanna use? Does the blue match? Not quite. I think I'll just use this lighter gray, almost white one. And then that is it for my Sunday little things. So I'm gonna put my last little things header. And in order to check off the face mask, I have these little teardrops that come in the kit. 
So I think I'll just take this red one and put that there. Perfect. So that's my little things done. Now I'm going to go through and put a ombre heart checklist across every day with a to-do header on top. So I will be back. Actually, I'm going to pause here because I remembered that I did want to put a to buy list in this week. Um, and I think Friday is the best way to do that because I wanted to do it on a day I didn't have a lot of little things, which is Monday or Friday. But I have more today's section uh, things on Monday. So I think I'm going to go for it on Friday. And to do that, I've done this before, I'm just going to use some of these extra um, little things here. So I'm just going to take an asterisk and then this one I'm going to flip around and then another asterisk and then a to buy header so that's just a little weekly to buy list now I can finish my with my armor hair checklist Okay, I think we're ready to go to the day by day. So let's zoom on in here to Monday. Starting in Monday's checklist, I just need to put, you know, my usual going to, going for a little Sainsbury's run on a Monday to get all of my lunch groceries for the week. And for that, I think I'm just gonna use um, the little grocery cart icon and just put that on the first line of the to-do list. And that is it for the Monday to-do list this week. So let's see about the today section here. Um, what full box do I wanna start with? Um, well, actually, I think I'll start with uh, the gym. So I'm gonna go to my usual circuits class in the morning. I think I'll use this nice red solid quarter box. I like the looks of that. I'm so in love with these colors. This color scheme is everything. So I'm just gonna put that right. And for that, I'm gonna use this um, kettlebell functional deco that comes with the kit. And then now I think I'm ready for my full box. So I've got a decent amount going on this day, so I think I'm gonna take um, this one, or no, I'll take this one. Um, I mean, they're all lovely, but I don't mind covering this up a smidge. I won't have to cover it too much, but there we go. I definitely need a half box in the evening. Let me get, just so I like to do the skinnier piece on the bottom. And then I think I think a, a solid half box will do the trick. And there we go. Awesome, and that's for my meeting in the evening. So for that, I think I'm gonna take this coffee icon from the kit, put that right there, love it. Let's see, I'm definitely gonna need some more washi. And I'm thinking, I don't really wanna use another half box. Um, cause the other thing I'm putting on this day here is filming. So I don't know if it's necessarily half box worthy. Let me see these corner boxes situations. Does it have, how much room do I need? I'm a bit worried about running out of washi, but we shall see. Um, I think I'll borrow a little bit of this maybe. Does it look weird? Um, it kind of just, 
does look a little bit weird, but I think I'm gonna have to get over it because I don't really know what else I can do for that. And for filming, I decided that I'm gonna use the TVs um, that come in the kit. So I'm gonna take this TV functional deco here and put it right there for filming. And then up here, I just need my, oh, I forgot I also pulled out my film edit upload scripts from the Hummingbird Planner to save me from having to write anything. So I will pop a film script in the box as well. Oh, I love how that looks so much. Okay. And then I also need my Hummingbird Planner work from home stickers. Have I only been pulling in Hummingbird Planner so far? Yeah, except for my countdowns and glitter header as well. Um, so I was thinking of this color, but the more I'm looking at it, the more it's too green. Um, and this one's like, it's just not quite right either. The red, actually the dark red, it's like, it's not quite brown enough. But I think it might be the closest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the dark red. So I will just put that right in the middle of the box there. And there we go, that is Monday done. Moving on to Tuesday, in the to-do list here, I just want to put editing on the video that I film on Monday. So I'm gonna take an edit script. I think I'm just gonna put it in the bottom of the checklist here. Awesome, and then that's it for the checklist. So today section wise, I was thinking of using one of the birds because it won't really get um, covered up much. So I think on the bottom here, I'm gonna take a solid quarter box. I'm gonna take the blue color. And then I'm gonna put, I've got the matching washi here. Um, I think I might put a bit of the washi because I will show you why. And then I'm gonna put the thinner piece up here. So I'm gonna be taking a quarter box. I think I'll take a patterned one this time. It's like a bird body. Not really, it looks like it's just a repeating pattern. Okay, cool. And then again, I have a sliver of space left over. The reason I put washi on top of the box is because I wanted to use a nice me time header up there and it does fit. So then what am I gonna put there? What if, Okay, I really think I am gonna run out of washi. So I have, for such emergencies, I do have a couple of leftover washi strips from other kits. I've got this one from a Scribble Prince Co. kit, an oldie. Oh, that matches pretty well, actually. I was loath to pull them in because I didn't think they'd match, but that is a pretty good match. Oh, do I wanna do that? In which case, yes, I like that much better. And then put the me time. So that is for taking a bath. That's why I went for the me time sticker. Um, but in terms of icons, there's not really any like bath icons in the kit. So I pulled in my Lucinda Charlotte Designs bath bomb sheet. And I'm thinking this deep red one will be nice. There we go. And then the half box that's up here is for my usual British Library excursion. So for that, I'm gonna take the laptop sticker. Do I wanna do, or do I wanna just check it off? I'm kind of fine with just checking that off actually. Um, and then my fave custom scripts from the Hummingbird Planner that say British Library. 
In the um, Black Friday sale, I actually ordered another custom script that says bath. Um, Cause I was looking at my planner and I'm like, what's something I write every single week? Um, and that was the next one on there that I didn't have a script of. So I was like, yeah, I always am taking a bath at least once a week. So I ordered some bath scripts, um, which is fun. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's Tuesday done, we're cruising. Wednesday, few things for the checklist. So I definitely need to mark my uh, midweek spread. And for that, I thought I would use um, the camera icons that come with the kit. So I'm just gonna take this camera functional deco here and cover up the last line, um, the last heart rather there. So that's for my midweek spread. I also always do my nails on a Wednesday. So for that, um, there's a little nail polish sticker. So I think I'll just do, just do that. And that's actually it for the checklist. So moving on into the today section, I'm gonna put my usual Wednesday gym class in the morning. And for that, I'm gonna put a, Another solid quarter box, but this time I'm gonna use the weight icon. And then let's see, what uh, box do I wanna use? I'm thinking of doing maybe this one here. And let's get some of that matching washi. So, um, I also always like to put a half box um, at the end of a Wednesday and I kind of, I generally leave that open for anything that kind of comes up. So I'm gonna take this red one. Cool, so that's just for whatever I do on Wednesday evening. Um, I like to leave my Wednesday evenings blank for whatever whatever comes up. And then let's see, we're gonna need, we're gonna need more washi. So I'm gonna take the last little strip of this matching washi. And I'm gonna put another, I think I'm gonna use another patterned um, half box. I don't want to use the one that matches too well, so let's do this one. Okay, so this is to mark filming my plan with me. And then let's see. Actually, I think we can put the pretty safely put the full box down here. There we go. And then this can go right here. And for filming, like I said, we're using the TV. So this time I'm gonna take the TV round icon and put that right there with another film script. And I'll just, I know which, I know what videos I film on what days, so I don't need to write which one it is. Excellent. So the only other things going in the today section for Wednesday are uh, laundry and working from home. So I've pulled in, yet yeah, surprisingly there are no, there used to be a laundry round icon with the kit and I'm surprised that there wasn't like in all of the functional deco and script a laundry day thing. Um, but there's, yeah, there's like no laundry stickers in the entire kit except for this one. But for me, that's more like folding laundry. So I'm gonna use it for folding laundry on Thursday, spoiler. But um, so I pulled in these laundry stickers from the GP Sticker Studio. Um, and what color do I like? I mean, I think I just like the white. And I think I'm just gonna put that right up there with another one of the teardrops from the kit to check it off. And then I'm pulling in another, I have three of these sheets that I haven't mentioned before um, because I work, I tend to work from home pretty much every week, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I have three of them so that I can take three of the same color um, once. Anyways, so I'm gonna take the dark red that I've been using 
and put it right there. And that is Wednesday done. Moving on to Thursday. In the checklist, as I mentioned, I'm gonna take this um, kind of hanging clothes sticker uh, to mark folding the laundry. And then I'm gonna go back to this sheet and I'm gonna upload the videos for the week. So I think I'm just gonna pop this right here in the to-do list. And I actually, I usually film and edit. I just don't think I can fit two scripts there. So it's fine. Um, or I could put, I could put it in the to-do list actually. So, cause I like to edit the plan with me on the same day cause it's quite a big task. So I like to make sure that I'm getting it done. So yeah, I'll put that there for editing the plan with me. Perfect. So that's it for the to-do list on Thursday. So for the today section, I think, yeah, I'm gonna use this full box. So I'm gonna take just a small piece of washi. Up top and, or actually, because the to-do header's red, I'm rethinking this a bit. Because I think I might, this might be the day that I pull in this extra piece of washi. So yes, okay. So I'm gonna take this nice big thick piece of washi that matches the bottom washi. I'm gonna cut it in half and put some up here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this piece of washi down here because this is the washi that matches the full box I'm gonna be using. And then I think I can just put the full box in. Let's see. So I'm gonna be using just two half boxes on either side of the day. So I think I'm gonna pull in this one down here. So I'm just gonna put it just there and then line this up there. That works. Yeah, there we go. And then, yeah, I actually don't even need this, so I will hang on to it. Um, and then I'm gonna pull in, I guess I should do a solid, but no, I don't wanna. I'm gonna do another pattern. <laughs> Live dangerously. Cool. That's perfect. So, and you, it really showcases this full box because this is like my favorite of all the full boxes. This is for the British Library. So for that, I'm gonna use the computer round icon. I'll do it a little further down, it's not as big. And then my, my uh, British Library script. And then this is for meeting in the evening. So for that, I'm gonna use this car functional deco. Uh, I think, is that what I wanna do? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the car up in the top corner because I don't really want to check off the functional deco. Sometimes I don't mind and sometimes I don't like to check off functional deco, it really depends. Um, I'm gonna pull in my dots and I think this is a pretty good match here. So I'm just gonna put a, put a little dot in there in the box to check it off with. And that is it for Thursday. So moving on to Friday, in the morning, gym. So I'm gonna use my last solid quarter box for that. And I'm gonna take this workout script and I'm gonna use, use that. I'll just write the time. I don't need to write which class it is because it doesn't really matter if I show up at that time, it's the class that's happening. Um, yeah, and then what full box do I wanna use this day? Oh, well, before I forget, in the checklist, I always mark uh, clearing my emails and backing up my files and for that, um, I thought sometimes I put them as two separate to do's, but I think this week I'll put them as one to do. And I think I'll just mark that with this push pin. I thought that was really cute. Cause it's kind of like office-y tasks. I don't know, it made sense. I thought that was nice um, way to use that. So back to the today section. Where are my full boxes? Here we go. So I think, I think cause I just used a bird. I will not use a bird and I will use this one. Right under there. 
And then I'm gonna need some of the matching washi for that. I'm gonna take the bigger piece. I probably don't need the bigger piece, but it's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna take a half box. I'm gonna take this tan color and this is for a meeting in the evening. For that, I think I'm gonna use the clinking glasses. This is meeting up with some friends, so that'll be fun. And then I just need to mark working from home. So I've got my third sheet of work from home stickers with my script here. And I think I'm gonna put it a little higher um, just in case, because sometimes I like to meet a friend for coffee after work, after they work, obviously not me, on a Friday. So I think I'll leave room to add that in there. And then uh, that's actually it for Friday. So moving on to the weekend. So I've got my, my last full boxes here. And do I want to put it right there? Yeah, I think so. Go put this one right up top. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna use this box. It is gonna get covered a little bit, but for I think I'll put it in the bottom. Is that what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I think so. I think that's fine. Okay, and then um, I'll just put like the matching washi up top. Let's see how much I need because I'm trying to put the weekend banner up top. I, I'm often fond of putting the weekend banner in the bottom washi. However, this month with the Christmas countdowns, we won't be able to do it. I think I'm just going to put the whole, oh, I was like, what's wrong? There we go. Um, I think I'm just going to put the whole thing there and put the weekend banner across the top. It's not too, too big and it doesn't like dip down. It's like straight across weekend banner. So I think we put it right up to the top that that works. And then, let's see. Well, let's go back to so focusing on Saturday. So um, in the to-do list, I need to do my weekly cleaning task. This week, it happens to be clean in the kitchen. I'm going to take this lovely vacuum functional deco. Um, maybe I'll just put it over here. And then... I also need to feed my sourdough starter. So, you know, I like to take a tooth icon if there's one in the kit. It's kind of big. Hang on. Might do a little switcheroo. Oh no. Nope, I'm not doing a switcheroo because that is not coming up. Okay, so we're just gonna put the tooth over here as well. <laughs> and then that's it for the to-do section for Saturday. So moving back up to the today section, there is only one thing on, so let's get the washi situation going. I I don't know where in the day to put it. My instinct is to put it kind of toward the end of the day, but we could do something after. I'm gonna put the rest of the matching washi because I think it continues really nicely. Um, so that I can put anything we do in the morning. And then I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take this piece of washi cause it's extra, I don't really need. Oh no, I have more extra. I have a small piece of this piece here. So I will put that piece and then I'll put a half box because we are going to the QPR game, which is very fun. So I'm just gonna put this nice patterned half box there. Oh, it's a little matchy, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and with that, I'm going to take the family time script because um, we do go with my father-in-law. So it uh, is some family time. And then I'm going to put the, I know I keep saying I need to buy some football stickers, um, but I'm just going to put the paw prints because I use that to mark any sort of sports, walking, running, gym, any sort of that kind of activity. Um, yeah, so that will be for the football game. And then we've got the rest of the day open to put different stuff in if we want. I actually um, just realized as well, I forgot to come back to this. So this to buy list, the reason that I flipped that around was A, because I only had two asterisks and I like to put three 
things in a, in a to buy list, but also because I know specifically this week I want to buy a Christmas sweater. Every year my partner has an amazing, hilarious Christmas sweater, and every year I'm like, oh, I want a Christmas sweater. I have Christmas sweater FOMO. Um, so every year I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy one. And I'm like, oh, but I don't use it. You only wear it like once a year or a couple times a year. But I think I'm gonna bite the bullet this year and buy a Christmas sweater. So for that, I pulled out my Coffee Monsters Co. Christmas emoji sheet. So it is this little adorable emoji. I think it's probably technically wearing Christmas pajamas, but um, I'm gonna use it to buy, put buying my uh, Christmas sweater because I think that makes sense. And I'm just gonna cover up as such. Oh, I'm so in love it. Um, very exciting. Um, I love this. This is like probably one of my favorite sheets of all time. And my goal for the holiday season is to use the entire sheet. And I think I'm well on my way. So yeah, back to the weekend here. Yeah, that's all I know for Saturday. So moving on to Sunday. In the to-do list, I know I need to do a food shop. So for that, I've already used the grocery cart icon but I'm just gonna use the um, utensils icon for doing our food shop. And I'm gonna put that, am I gonna put it in the to-do list? Yes, yes I am. Because I don't wanna cover up too much of this box if I don't have to, because it's really pretty. Um, so that is for our weekly food shop. And then uh, for my end of week spread, I've been using the camera stickers. So I'm gonna take the camera icon and I think I'm just gonna put it over here. And then finally, planning next week. So um, I've talked about this before, but I film my plan with me's on a Wednesday usually because that's when I have time. And by then I have a pretty good idea of what my upcoming week is going to be like. Um, however, on a Sunday, I still do go through and I make sure everything's filled out and I fill in any blanks that I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I fill in my schoolwork schedule, everything like that. Um, I don't decide all any of those things until the Sunday usually. So um, yeah, I still mark it that way. That's kind of just an explanation of that. So I take, favorite thing to do is to take a next week sticker and then use a planner icon. And there is a planner functional deco with the kit. Uh, and I think it will fit. So there we go. Perfect. And that is it for the to-do section. The only thing I know for sure in the today section is that we are gonna be decorating our tree on this day. My partner has very strong feelings about decorating the Christmas tree. And for some reason, he has this like really set in stone idea that you can't decorate your tree until the 13th, I think, or the 14th. It was some weird random day um, that I didn't really get. Um, but I convinced him since uh, our, the following week is really busy because my mom's coming to town and during the middle of the week, um, we don't have as much time, that I convinced him to do it the Sunday before so that we can really um, take our time and have fun doing it. So, I mean, I have one remaining half box which I could use for that. However, hmm, I think I will actually save the half box. I think I'll take one of these um, patterned quarter boxes that I have instead and put it, I think we'll do it in the morning because we're buying the tree this weekend just so we have it ready to go. Um, and it's like a, it's a fake pre-lit tree. And then we have a few baubles and we might buy a few other things. So we should have everything. So I think we might just wake up in the morning, have some tea and do it in the morning. Um, so back to this sheet, my fave sheet. I can't decide whether I should use I've already used, there was two of these, I've already used one in my December monthly spread. So I don't know if I wanna use the same one here or there's also this one that's like covered in lights. And my thought process was that I'll use one in this spread and one in my memory keeping. But I think this green is actually a lot more um, uh, contrasty than I thought it would be. So I think I'm gonna use the one covered in lights for this spread, I think it just matches a bit better. And that is so precious. And then I will use um, this icon in my, um, my my memory keeping spread for marking the same activity. That's that's what I think will work. And yeah, that's it for Sunday. So we can zoom on out. Or actually, we don't really need to zoom out because we're going to the sidebar. 
which I totally remembered and didn't forget existed. Um, so to start on the sidebar, I'm going to be taking my quote box, which says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I like that quote, and it's a good thing I do because... Honestly, like I'm not that bothered by the quotes in the quote boxes. If I love a kit, um, sometimes I really love the quotes and I, I find them really like inspiring or not, or just like funny or whatever. Um, but, oh goodness gracious, um, struggling with this one. Okay, yeah, but I'm not usually gonna um, not get a kit because I hate the quote box. If I really hate it, I just won't use the quote box. Um, but yeah, I, I do like this quote, um, but it's kind of just turned out pretty funny that um, a lot of kits this year seem to have it. So it's actually, it was going to be in three of the kits that I used um, for the winter. I think it's only in two, it ended up being in two of them because I think I, ch I did change my mind about one kit that I was ordering. But yeah, it was still, it's still funny that it's kind of like following me around this season. So I've just embraced it and I've decided this is my mantra for the for the winter. And then I'm gonna pull in uh, both habit trackers because I do like to have two. Honestly, if, if it was a whole sidebar full of habit trackers, I would be able to fill them out. Um, but at minimum, I like to track, keep track of two habits. So those can hang out there. And then let's see, where are my headers? So I'm gonna need a um, schoolwork list so that's the same color I don't, don't like when it's the same color um, okay so good thing I did have a bit of leftover washi uh, but what um, but this is kind of the same this washi is the same color too uh, it's fine because it's a pattern so it's gonna break it up a little bit either way so I'll just use I'll just use that and then a work header and my first weekly ombre. Amazing. And then the second one will be a to clean list. So I like to put my, my daily cleaning tasks. So that will be my other weekly ombre. Yep. Excellent. And then with whatever space I have left, I will do a checklist. So I'm just going to take the this week header. I probably could have scooched these up a bit, but I actually really love the framing of that box. So no regrets. Um, and then let's see if you can see the bottom there. There you go. So we don't have enough for a whole checklist, but I'll I'll see what I can fit. I'm just gonna move this page out from behind just so nothing gets stuck to it. Um, yeah, I do mm, actually. I think I can. Yeah, I think if I just trim it. Yeah, cool. So it, it actually only cut off one heart of the checklist, so still very, very useful thing to have down there. And that is the sidebar, pretty easy. So I think we are now ready to zoom out and put some finishing touches. Oh my gosh, I am so, 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 so in love with how this has turned out. Um, okay, so for a few finishing touches, oh yeah, first thing I forgot, I was saving this teardrop because I didn't want to take off the, um, the beautiful tree decorating emoji. so I was thinking of just putting this in there. Yeah, and I can just write on two lines there for decorating the tree. Um, what else? I also need to mark uh, do journaling, so for that, I think I'm gonna take, I sometimes mark it in my Sunday list, but my Sunday uh, checklist is looking a bit busy, so I'm gonna take the book icon and I'm gonna mark it in my sidebar. I also wanna put calling my mom. I think usually Tuesdays are the best bet for that, so I think I will put it on Tuesday. And for that, I think, 
I kind of, I want to use, I haven't used any of these flags and I would really like to do so. Um, but if I do the long flag, I don't think it'll perfectly cover up two. Oh, maybe it will. Oh no, it's like a tiny bit not perfect. So, and I don't have enough washi to make that work, I don't think. I can use one of these flags. So that does perfectly cover up two spaces. So I will write it in the flag there. And again, something there always used to be would be a phone icon of some description, but there's not. So that's fine because I pulled in my multicolor and since it's the same shop, I think it'll look all right. And I think this color has been the one I've been pulling in. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good match. So that will be for calling my mom. And then I also, um, my mom is coming the next week after this one, which is pretty wild um, and exciting. So I definitely need to go through and finalize the itinerary before she comes. So for that, I'm gonna take this plain functional deco here and I'm just gonna put it right there in my sidebar. So I think it's something that I'll I'll do throughout the week, so I will use that there. And the last thing I can think of is I need a day that I can wrap some gifts. So I think maybe Monday I'll have time. Maybe Friday, well, Friday morning I think I will have time, yeah. So let's see, for that, I think I'm gonna put it in the to-do list, but I think I'm gonna use this um, last beautiful patterned quarter box and it doesn't quite go but that's okay i think can i use this is it too crooked i think if i cut it again then i can make it not crooked where did my scissors go i'm always losing stuff when i'm doing a plan with me aha i found them so i think if i cut it again And then I do like this. And then like, just kind of make this straight. Can I even do that? Yeah, there we go. Cause the middle being all wonky doesn't really matter. And then I can put this in. Perfect. Oh, I really love that. And if I didn't already say this is for wrapping some gifts, so yeah, I think the last of my Christmas gifts um, that I've ordered should be coming in throughout the end of the current week and the beginning of this week. So um, I will have a wrapping sesh on Friday. And for that, I pulled my Christmas shopper emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. I think I'm going to take a medium, medium size uh, one wrapping gifts and just put that right there. And yeah, that is everything I can think of for now. So that's the finished spread. No deco with these kits, but I think it totally is beautiful and decorative enough as is. So let me just show you what I've got left over. Um, I've got a decent amount on this sheet, especially the flags and stuff. Um, I really hope I can pull these in. I'm sure like, you know, if things come up on the weekend um, that that's where they will definitely get pulled in. Um, loads of script functional deco and icons left maybe about half ish of those um, that I will definitely be pulling in throughout the week I've got one tiny strip of washi left so my my fears about running out of washi were a bit unfounded I was actually fine um, I've got one half box and will definitely get pulled in um, checklist which I don't use I just cut those out um, and put them aside I've got one bill due left over that I will definitely save in my um, in my extras pile to use another week. I've got a lot of little things actually left over. Um, so even more stuff to pull in as labels throughout the week if need be. I've got two headers. Um, honestly, the way that I pull these in throughout the week is that if I don't have, for example, okay, for example, Tuesday, if I don't have enough to do's, like if I don't have three more to do's to write in on Tuesday, I'll just take this family sticker and pop it right over, maybe even make it into a flag and pop it over the task of calling my mom because to just kind of extra label that, you know what I mean? So that's kind of how I pull those in. But anyway, so I will pull some of these in throughout the week. I use everything on this sheet. This was the checklist and 
um, solid quarter boxes. I used all of those. And then I used everything on this sheet, which was the full boxes and pattern quarter boxes. So yeah, that is it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.